What is up guys? Kyle here. We're doing something, maybe it's actually not very different. I'm out on the kayak, as you can see. We've, we've fished at this lake before. But all I'm trying to do right now is catch dinner or lunch. I'm gonna put the cam on my head, hopefully catch either a, a good sized kokanee or a small sockeye. Which if you catch a sockeye under 15 inches, you can keep it, is what I interpreted the rules as. Um, I played some very early 5 a.m. basketball today. I'm a little groggy. It's 80 degrees feeling, I'm feeling great. And um, we're gonna get it. Stay tuned, dinner catch, here we come. Oh yeah, I know you're, I know you're eyeing the hat there. See, that's a bird dog special. Bird dog shorts, if you're familiar with them, if you buy a certain amount of shorts off their site, you get a free hat. It's got the rope on it. What I like about rope hats is you know they're not serious. Like I look like freaking, what's the dude's name? Gilligan from Gilligan's Island. But it works, it's white. Doesn't absorb all the heat from the hot sun. And I know I always look cool, so. All right, let's fish. All right, we got one pull in the water. Same old crap, we got a little hoochie thing, some corn couple flashers I'm gonna run six ounce weights because it's hot fish are probably deeper get down there less line out and I have a I just have a hunch we're gonna get something quick oh it looks great down there too just a little hunch something's gonna happen fast so who's gonna be the first oh 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 Come back. Guess I can mark it since we're here. All right, we got more fish. We're turning, meaning this one's dropping lower. I see fish a little bit lower. Oh, nope. On. I'd called it. Oh, it's, she's shaking. Oh, feels like a good one. Uh oh, she's fighting like a kokanee. Oh, oh. Come on. I need you for dinner. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, still there, still there. Uh oh, uh oh. Be gentle. I see weight. I see, looks like a kokanee. Chill, chill. Why do they gotta flip around? Let's check it. That, my friends, is the first kokanee of the day. And I called it. Chill, buddy. Chill. There she is. Uh oh. Not too bad for the first one. I, it's actually been, I've, I've fished here a bunch, but this has been the first kokanee that I've caught in a while because they loaded this thing with sockeye. So you're just catching sockeye left and right that you can't keep. Turn the camera off and they. Come out to play. That's that's probably a sockeye right here. I can just tell it's gonna screw up my bait, bust it off. Oh yeah, she's she ain't playing. Feels like she's hooked good. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, stop. Sockeye are little assholes, so they get in the net and they just spin and break your lures. So I'm gonna, if it's a sockeye, I'm not even gonna net him. I'm just gonna see if I can pop it off because. I'd rather have my lure. Ah, that's a good fighting one here. If it's, oh, oh no, if he pops off, or if we keep him and he's a decent size, we might be done, boys. He feels good. Righty, come on. What a letdown. Oh, oh, well, yeah, this is gonna be a sockeye. Hopefully not. Oh, 
All right, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, geez. Yep. I'm turning red too. I'm gonna see if I can get it off without netting it. I just don't, it's just gonna bust my guy here. That's my favorite lure. I don't have another one set up. I know if I net it, he's gonna bust it. But you can tell it's already turning red. Hey buddy. I mean, that's pretty, pretty gnarly. Right in his upper lip. Look at that. Let's see if I can get you guys a close up. Definitely a sockeye. It's actually, it's probably actually less than 15 inches, honestly. Stop. See, that's what they start doing. They start rolling, and that's how they break all your stuff. But that's definitely probably less than 15 inches, but I, I don't need a sockeye. I, I need to, uh, that's too much food for me to eat if I stay the night out here and waste it. Let's see if I can just get him on his way without busting. Ah, oh, come on. Stop, I'm setting you free. Why you guys gotta roll? These guys are just little assholes. If you don't roll, I'll let you go. Just so you know, I have the option to keep I have the option to keep you, buddy. Possibly. Eh, you're probably more than 15. Stop! I'm trying to do the right thing, keep you in the water. I just Now you're not gonna swim? Oh, he's gone. Cool. So that's what I don't want. I don't want those guys messing with my stuff. It's kind of cool catching sockeye, but when you catch so many of them and then they start breaking all your stuff, not the biggest fan of that. All right, we got one on, hit hard. Might be another little asshole sockeye. Well. First fight. He's still there, huh? I won't be surprised if Righty goes off here in a sec. Lots of fish whipping. Alright, it feels like a kokanee. Unless it hasn't made its little run yet. Uh, it looks big though. Looks red. Big, red. You know what that usually holy. Holy red. Whoa! Chill, buddy. Whoa! Oh. Watch out for my motor. I'm letting you go. Oh. No, oh, it's my favorite lure. Bro. Chill. What I'm talking about, these guys just ruin everything. <laughs> Holy, usually they don't got much fight in them. Hard to tell, but it's wrapped around and then hooked around the actual leader. I'm trying to set you free, dude. Quit rolling. We'll go for one more kokanee, but I can't. I can't keep doing these sockeyes. Told you they were annoying. I thought we were. Thought the sockeye stuff was over once we caught that first kokanee. 
Kokanee. Where are you, Kokanee? I think I need to get more over there where I caught that first one. All right, we got a little off-cam Kokanee. Freaking way too many sockeyes. I stopped filming. My batteries are getting low. I have to charge once I get off the water. Great looking off-camera Kokanee. Should be solved for dinner here. Look, Mom. Caught one. But I'll, I'm, I'll probably grab one more. So if, if I get a coke, one more kokanee, I'll keep it. If I get one more sockeye, I'm throwing it back and I'm done. Here's what we got. Nice little buck. Nice little hen. And then this tiny guy. Um, normally I don't keep little guys like that, but he was bleeding kind of good. But the problem is, now I got either this pot or this little tiny pan. Obviously we're gonna have some sizing issues, so. Oh, we're gonna have to make it work. If I see one worm, he's going back. Oh no, oh geez. All right, I guess I can stay right there. Not the reddest stuff in the world. That's what I call the standing seasoning. If I was smart, oh, and I do have a table. Oh yeah, get it in there. Get it in the goods. Why not get two hands on there? There's no rules. This fly is just laying in me. Do I cut the nub off? Risky, risky moves here. Good pivot, good pivot. Solid pivot. Mm, while we're waiting, I'll show you guys a unicorn scabs. It's a beef jerky I make. This is a New York steak sliced up. The fat's all on there, which the fat can go bad for jerky, but not if you make it a couple, you know, make it, then eat it within a week or, you know, a few weeks. It's probably the best jerky ever, according to everybody that's ever eaten it. Mmm. It's a little sweet, sour. Mmm. But I make it. It's actually... I only do it in batches, but it's called uh, unicornscabs.com. I'll put the link down below. Go try it. It's not the cheapest thing ever, but it's some high quality stuff. But the unicorn scabs, I'll make a full video on what they're all about. I mean, look at that thing glistening. It's it's like a moist jerky, so. But it's made to be like, like, nobody ever buys jerky and like, you know, eats it over like a month period. They buy it, and they eat it right away. And that's what you gotta do with this one, but I'm telling you, people usually say don't make jerky with fat, but look at, you can see the fat on there, but it's literally the best part. I'm gonna make a full video on it, actually. All right, guys, well, this is what we got here. Looks pretty darn good. It wasn't super red, but these are kind of late season kokanee. Catch ourselves a little piece of goods. <laughs> Actually, that ain't too bad. Sometimes I fake it just for the effect. That was actually good. Let's get it. Get it dipped in the little sauce over here. Not too bad. I caught this thing out here a couple hours ago. All right, guys. Well, that was that. That was that.
I'm gonna go get back on the water. You see the sun's coming down a little bit. Get back out there. Maybe catch a couple to take home. If not, just get my money's worth. I don't think I'm gonna sleep out here. I'm gonna stay late, head home. I forgot Starling. I didn't even show you Starling is the greatest thing ever. I got like better service, like faster internet, which I have faster internet at my house, but faster internet from this guy here than I do at my house. Maybe, actually there was one last thing I wanted to try before I leave. All right, we'll try it. Actually, my little experiment didn't work. I'll have to try it next time. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is the longest day of my life. I probably look like that basketball in the morning. It keeps, keeps me in shape, though. Keeps that pack going. But yeah, it uh, kills me. Well, I'm going to go fish a little bit. Maybe catch something called like a burbot. But I ain't going to film it. I'm going to see if I can do it. Then maybe film it later. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Unicorn scabs. Check them. They're bomb. At least give them one try. Later.